Every single day, cause I love my occupation. Hey, I'm on vacation. If you don't like your life, then you should go and change it. Hey, I'm on vacation. Every single day, cause I love my occupation. Hey, I'm on vacation. Every single day, every single day. Welcome aboard the Space Between. I'm Holly, and this is Captain Scott. And we've spent the last three seasons fixing up our Leopard 46 to make her the most comfortable and beautiful charter cat in her class. We've taken you behind the scenes, showing you the highs and the lows of charter life and all the projects in between. We've had the privilege of hosting so many amazing people. Some may board as guests, but they all leave as friends. And we look forward to adventures with more of you in the future. This season on Sailing the Space Between, we take some time to ourselves to taste the cruising life. And get her ship shape for our next charter season. If this current crazy world has made you want to sail away with us, check out our website, sailtsb.com, for more info. And you're going to want to hit that subscribe button and bell. It doesn't cost you a dime, and at the pace we put out videos, it won't annoy you either. In one hand, and the collection tube in the other hand, careful not to spill the liquid. Collection tube in the other hand. Uh, insert the tip of the foam swab into one nostril. It does not need to be inserted far, just until the foam tip is no longer visible. All right, rub it around in a circular motion inside at least three times. Now, take the foam swab out of your nostril and put it in your other nostril. Oh, sorry. Put it in your other nostril and do the same thing three times around. Remove this film from the second nostril and place it in the collection tube into the liquid. What? And push it down. Seal the foam. Then we put it in the specimen bag. Specimen bag? The specimen bag. I ain't putting no specimen in there. <laughs> you are. You're putting your nose specimen in there. Now you put it back in the pixel box. Whole box? Yep. And you put the whole box in the... Um... FedEx envelope and I've taken a picture of your tracking number and your registration number and that way we're going to keep them separated between mine separated. and yours oh, and you are COVID tested without having to get brain biopsied we'll see if it works we'll let you know kids 60 bucks Scott, and Scott just got his travel health visa. We are officially. Now watch Holly get denied. <laughs> He's going without me. I, I've been threatening I, to go without I, you for the last three months. I know. I swear to God, he'll leave without me. All right, I gotta get this beard off. Um. So it looks like your insurance policy. It looks like we might be leaving for the Bahamas. Captain is submitting our health visas to the Bahamas. The space between. Uh, go ahead. You gonna sail today? Yes, sir. We're heading out this afternoon when things calm down a bit. And um, we're going to head up to Largo for the day. And then, God willing, we'll be crossing to the Bahamas on Friday. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Well, good for you guys. Have a good time over there. I hope you had a good time here in Marathon. And uh, look forward to you coming back this way. Yeah. Thanks, Captain. Thanks, Captain. Thanks a lot. We had a great time. Thanks, Captain. Cheers. Thanks, Captain. Cheers. Thanks, Captain. Cheers. Thanks, Captain. Cheers to everyone. Well, good deal. All right, well, I was wrong on that one, so I didn't expect anybody 
Nope. Worrying about turkey dinner and all that sort of thing. Nope. So, anyone else uh, departing the harbor today? <laughs> journey way still on this side but way still on that side to go we left having a year this morning at 11:45 this morning we are headed to chubb or to outer islands and then wait to go into chubb in the morning uh, the winds are east northeast at 17 to 20 knots we have seas that are head on to quarter beam uh, and they're like three to four and the occasional rogue six foot. You can see we are in the Gulf Stream doing about six to seven knots with the engines on because we are again heading to the wind. We still have our main but we just pulled the gentleman in. So just uh, long for the ride. It's gonna be a long one. So, Captain has made a decision, uh, gusting up to 25 to put a reef in before the sun goes down, so I don't have to mess with it. Probably a good decision. I don't know if you can read that or not. We're where that X is. And Predict Wind predicted that this would be 1.1 feet or 1.4 max. We're in no less, we are in no less than four foot waves. And we're getting some side waves that are even six, possibly seven feet. Predict Wind couldn't predict its way out of an open box. So it's 11.30 at night on our passage. Full fire. I think my phone pretty much sums it up. You can see it flickering in the, uh, in the camera. That little drone. Not a star. somewhere. Why aren't we there yet? So rates have gone up from one day to the next by $30, but I am busy filling out all the necessary paperwork. We need to clear customs and 
We will cross our fingers, make sure everything is copacetic once we get there. Sailing in chub like what what? Land ho! A new adventure awaits. 20, 11, 25 hours later, we are here. Good job, Captain. So we're pulling into Chubb. We called them on the satellite phone. Scott had called them on the landline, what, yesterday, day before yesterday? Yesterday. Yesterday. $90 today, yesterday, because they have dynamic pricing. <laughs> she tells me they have a lot of rich people that come here that don't give a crap about money. Yeah, I, they, she said, book now so you get the, cause the rate, but we weren't sure we were gonna pull a 25 hour long straight shift, so we didn't want to book in. So now when I called today and asked the rates, it's 118.88 plus tax and utilities. So, a nice $30 increase from one day to the next. We probably won't stay two nights. But, it is Saturday. We are in the Bahamas. What else could be better? What else? It is a beautiful day. We got the sails up. And we will be celebrating a, if we can make it up past a happy hour, we'll be celebrating with a Goombay smash in our hands. I know it was invented in um, Green Turtle, but I don't know that it hasn't made its way through. It's made it to America. Surely it's made its way through the Bahamas. I would think so. We're going to try one. But they're never the same they're as Miss They're never the same as Miss Emily's, but we always have to taste test wherever we go. Yeah, we got to take one for the team. Yes. <laughs> it's a tough job, but somebody's got to do it. Please tell me we didn't do all that for nothing. <laughs> yep. All right. We are in the marina. That is not us. That is us. <laughs> At Chub K in the Southern Berries. And now we are headed over to the office to <clears throat> check in and clear customs. You're back. Back. <laughs> You'll have that. No, yeah, but he went ahead and gave me the, instead of, he extended this, we've got a three month cruising permit, so that was it. I mean, that, it was easy, it was no big deal. You give them your paperwork, stamp, 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 300 bucks. It took me longer in there than it did in Customs. The customs is all the way at the airport here. Oh, you weren't in there the whole time. Yeah. I was like, and what? You gotta go in there and get one of these okay. if you wanna walk around the resort. Okay. And then the rooster, the naughty rooster, is up here, up that, up right under that radio tower, just about. Is that where our uh, Goombay Spanishes are waiting yeah, for us? Yeah, just opened. All right. So the COVID um, thing was you not have to a big wear deal. Wear a mask inside. That's no, the COVID thing was not a big deal at all. Just another piece of paper. Okay. Well. It was getting hot. Well, no, I was rinsing the deck down and didn't want to get water since I had to close the hatches anyway. I figured I would turn the air on. All right, well, I checked in with the family, yeah. updated everybody. Everybody's okay. Posted on. You got on the Wi Fi? Yep, yeah, posted on the interweb, and we're golden. All right. Time Let's to. Let's get our chores done. Right there. So after getting all legal, we decided to do some exploring. The hotel and marina there are absolutely gorgeous. It didn't quite feel like the Bahamas I know, more like the Hamptons. 
The guests and staff were super friendly though. Be sure to say hi to Portia at the pool bar. But we felt more at home partying with the locals at the Naughty Rooster. One celebratory Goombay smash turned into, which by the way, they did not make the cut. Weren't even the same color. And uh, I, I always try to do two things while I'm filming. Um, the bartender, Portia, sweet lady, was from Marsh Harbor. Had heard of Miss Emily's and um, still couldn't make. She knew the ingredients, but they were, I don't know, it wasn't even the same color, so I don't know what juice blend she used or what. But anyway, long story long, Goomba Smash turned into a Goomba Smash, a mudslide with a Kahlua floater, which was fantastic. And then we hiked a hot mile to a Naughty Rooster and I had one more vodka drink. So we went to bed at 7.30. Look, we had been up for off and on for 24 hours a day before, but, um, and got up at 7.45 this morning. So we are fully rested and we are pulling off. It is 8.05. Seven, and we are going to shove off Chubb and head to Spanish Wells. So, I don't know where we're going to cut this episode off. Probably here, maybe not. Um, but from Spanish, that's where we get called at. So, if this is the end of the episode, <laughs> please don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, catch us next week as we. Haul this fat bitch out the water and get her all ship shape.